In this video, I'm going to be talking about how I feel behind in life compared to others as an ex-pharmacist. And here are my thoughts recently. Coffee cheers. Bam. Hey, welcome back. It's been a while since I've actually shot unscripted content for the most part. I've been doing a lot more formal content uh, these recent last few weeks and even though it's good for the algorithm it's not good for my mental sanity so I kind of miss having these just like real raw raw conversations as well and the benefit the beneficial thing that it does for me is just like I haven't been able to kind of put out my thoughts the way that they are and in today's video what I thought I would do was just like cover three points that I just jotted down really quick and just talk about them as well right um, especially if you're feeling the same way I've done and these are just things that I've noticed to be honest I don't have a solution I could probably think of a solution but this is more like I just wanted to just show you guys that I'm human too and TLDR is I haven't really had the chance to kind of check in with myself the first thing is, is just like social media, right? And how I know I'm in a bad spot is when your friends ask you, Hey, Kevin, how are you doing? I used to be like, dude is freaking amazing. I'm killing it. But honestly, recently, I, I feel like I've been shit in the bed. No lie. I just always avoid how like that question, how are you doing? And it didn't re really hit me until today where I just realized that I'm just really not happy in my life at the moment. And I know this is kind of, this may be temporary. There's a lot of different fixes to it, but the fact is I'm just not happy. And a lot of time I find myself just feeling behind when I compare myself to others. And I know that's not healthy, but it sucks sometimes. That's why I, Recently, I have been I have to avoid social media. I even have this app called Facebook News Killer where it blocks out everybody's news stories. And even like on Instagram or anything like that, it just makes me there's the, all that always that nagging feeling of you're not good enough. You're not good enough. What are you doing? One of the things about social media all the time is that everybody shows the best positive parts about their life. And even myself, you know, I talk about a lot of my wins, but I don't really talk about my losses as well. And I think when you're on social media and when you're not in a good place yourself, it can be quite dangerous because you start feeling inferior, which isn't the case. It's just that sometimes people just don't show their everything that's going on in their life. It's, it's, it's the part that sucks about it too is like, you know, it's this feeling of jealousy, this feeling of envy, and it's easy to get negative caught up uh, feelings with this. If you don't catch yourself, you end up like hating on, on people as well. I was talking to my good friend about this and he was telling me like, he knows this is kind of illogical, but he feels this way when people have cars, right? For me, I don't care about cars. I don't care about houses. The one thing I do care about is business because this is something that I pour my blood, sweat and tears for every single day. This is something that I left pharmacy for, for a better life. And I feel like I haven't obtained that lifestyle yet. And granted, I'm only one to two years into business as well, like running my um, YouTube channel, running my uh, sales and marketing agency and all that. And there are times when I do get that glimpse of that old life, like especially on those 4K weeks, I feel amazing, right? Still, it sucks not being able to be able to support your friends to uh, congratulate your friends and stuff too it's it's hard it, and anybody who says that you know oh it's it's your ego it exactly is your ego but it doesn't mean like I'm in a good place to be able to do that so I've been a little bit standoff offish from people for the most part right where I'm not in the mood to really I can't it just hurts me so much because I'm just like fuck dude I need to be moving faster I need to be moving faster with my investing course and a part of it sparks that little competitiveness, but recently I've just been kind of defeated as well, which leads me to the next point. Quick pause, if you wanna pick up your own Refugee Hustle mug, make sure to go to refugeehustle.com slash shop. Pick one up, drink your coffee with me, or in my case, I'm drinking Tulsi tea, sell a Sunday. Oh, even though today's Monday. I guess essentially filling your cup. So if you guys don't know, if you guys are living under a rock, uh, I've been pretty much living under a rock because I've been struggling in quarantine. And um, think about it. 
like every single day I used to do yoga, I used to do jujitsu, I felt like this sense of accomplishment every single day. I used to wake up super early. And now like during quarantine, I've noticed like a few things like, yeah, uh, definitely since I don't get to go jujitsu, since I don't get to do yoga, I don't get to do all these things. All that that in sense my health my fitness um hopefully like i didn't i didn't gain that much weight during quarantine so i'm glad i've kind of kept the same thing but essentially i know that my health isn't at, at its peak where it should be and um and then es essentially like i told you about my finances too like it's very volatile sometimes it does really well sometimes it shits to bed you just never know I think over the last few years I've been okay with it, I've been just dealing with it, but that's not where I'm exactly happy at, if that makes sense. So that's been really, that's been also kind of rough on me recently, just having moved money around. And don't get me wrong, I'm super grateful for everything that has come my way, you know? I wouldn't say I believe in necessarily God, but essentially the universe, man, this is my woo-woo side coming out. I'm just really grateful because I, didn't, I wasn't like those business owners who lost their their businesses in the riots. There's a lot of things that I should be grateful for um, as well, but you know, at the same time, uh, I also do realize that the what I'm going through is like real. These are real problems as well. That are the fact is is that I'm just not happy. Obviously, my relationships. I barely even seen anyone during quarantine, and if you guys know, if like for myself, I'm an extreme extrovert. I love talking to people. I love meeting with people. I go on like a lot of calls and stuff with people as well, but it's not the same thing as like physically connecting with people, just grabbing something to eat. Honestly, this quarantine has really been unhealthy for my mindset. And when you have all three of those things and they're all shit in the bed, <laughs> then that tells you, that definitely tells you that you're not in a good position to make solid decisions. And I feel like Rather than filling my cup, I feel like my cup has been exhausted because what have I been doing with all that time? Creating a business. And I recently read this post about one of my friends posting like, hey, if you're burnt out, then you're not doing what you love. And I would disagree with that. Like, I love business. I love the challenge it gives me. I love the, the fact that I get to meet so many different people and connect with people on a different level. I love that it's given me this platform to help you know, healthcare professionals, pharmacists transition now their old careers as well and just really talk about it and talk about my experience. It's not that, but like when you don't have your basic necessities kind of filled, then that, that kind of sucks, you know? Um, it just, it, that's how you get burnt out. Imagine being on desert island and like, you know, you love, for some reason you love sunbathing, but if you don't get your food and water in, um, and you don't get your shelter in from the sun, you're gonna, you're gonna be more, you're gonna have like a, you're gonna be really burnt out in that case, right? So it's important to fill those. And then the last thing I wanted to say was that also recently I've just been feeling more frustrated, right? Because I'm not, I wouldn't say a newbie newbie when it comes to marketing or seeing these brands grow and stuff like that. I'm not a newbie. But it's just frustrating being a little bit more seasoned because I know it's not necessarily a knowledge gap. You know, what's really interesting is that, I mean, I still consume a lot, not a lot of content, but I still consume content, like whether it's reading a book, watching a really profound video. I'll catch like one or two things that are always really profound, but at this point, like I haven't caught anything that has really like really something really, really, really new to me. And it's kind of frustrating because I see a lot of different processes at these other businesses, like even sometimes my clients, my clients sometimes drive me crazy how they run things, but you know, um, they've been able to launch businesses and it was imperfect and all that as well. But I know that sometimes like for myself, I just feel frustrated because I'm not moving fast enough as well. I guess the adult thing to do really is to implement systems, put systems in to really kind of get me there as well. I don't know, My it was interesting. My, my friend and I were also talking about being jaded as you get older. And I definitely feel a little bit more that more than that, right? Like I'm jaded with like working a corporate pharmacy job and I, like I can't go back to pharmacy because I'm jaded there, right? Like it's not like I don't have the ability to do something like that. But also at the same time, I'm just a little bit jaded about the whole situation, how I put my blood, sweat, and tears just like Dr. Shaw, right, or Arx Comedy, and nothing came out of it. 
and all for what just to get fired on a on a whims like on a whim it was really disheartening when that happened to me as well so i talk about it as a podcast but i don't want to talk about it as much here maybe i'll do a separate video on it but yeah that's that's what's been on my mind quick quick sip i know a lot of people just love painting their their wins and stuff i love doing that too but i think it, in order to be authentic and raw and real it's important to see like the backside of what i'm truly going through as well and how how tough um how tough life can be actually as well so those are just my thoughts um would love to kind of hear yours uh, let me know if you guys relate and i'll talk to you guys later take care bye